Hey everyone, it's the Wannabe Gardener and let me give you a quick update with what I'm doing with the crates and what I got going on. Uh, that way I don't forget either uh, when I look back because I'm not good with taking notes, although I try to take notes. So I can always look at the videos and see what I'm doing. Anyway, here's what I got. Uh, the crates over here are the ones that I filled up with, of course, uh, different things. And then I see the water's kind of brown. I soaked it in pretty good and absorbed it absorbed a lot of it from the bottom um, it is supposed to be 90 degrees tomorrow so I'm just gonna leave the water there for now and then I got these crates and um, I got a valley cat tomato there and I got a different one over here this is the tomato the emerald tomato and then over here I put a hillbilly tomato uh, this one here what I put on there was the um, the evergreen tomato ever emerald evergreen and in there in the hole I put some bat guano some molasses and uh, let's see how that works I didn't do that to the other ones um, I got pepper plants over here I got four in this crate different sizes um, one is the red Ozark this one here is the chocolate pepper right here that little one see how that works out I got one one eggplant going in there I took from the inside of the house um, they're not looking too good but let's see what happens um, here on my first one over here I put a red tomato in here is a, a red cherry red cherry I just put that in there today and in the planting hole I just put some some crushed eggshells and I put some um, some azomite powder and over here on this side I got a black crim and I put the same thing in that one some calcium in the hole and some uh, some nutrients uh, that one right there is my tomato my pineapple tomato it's a little dirty right now uh, we just got some good rain so I decided I wanted to plant while we got rain so I got the pineapple tomato going on right there and I got a few more squares to fill out over here and some are gonna have to be small squares and I have to put something small see I got these few more I got to plant here I got a whole bunch inside I got to plant on this one here I got some marigolds on the four corners because since this is circle this is circular I'm not able to get perfect squares so the ones I couldn't get squares I just put one little marigold um, from what I understood you can put four marigolds per square so that's about a quarter square so I just put one in there I got a pepper, a small little pepper growing on right there. Let's see what happens there. And here I got a tomato. This one here, I started from seed. Well, all these I started from seed. All of these except maybe two or three. Um, but this one here I started from seed. And I, I lost track of what it was. Changing it from container to container. Um, and that's about all I got going on. I got another pepper there. Some marigolds in the corners. And I got some okra underneath there. Just I just put the seeds in there last night, so hopefully it works out pretty well. Well, that's about all I got going on right now as far as uh, this little square foot circular garden I got. Anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.